Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You all are going to make it difficult for me to finish the speech, I have to tell you. As you know, our university community, indeed the entire nation and people from many other nations, come together to mourn and to grieve, all the while hoping that we'll awaken from what is a horrible nightmare. In the last day, I've expressed my horror and shock, but there are really no words that truly express the depth of sadness that we feel. In fact, words are very weak symbols of our true emotions at times such as this. It's overwhelming, almost paralyzing, yet our hearts and our minds call to us to come together to share our individual attempts to comprehend the incomprehensible, to make sense of the senseless, and to find ways for our community to heal, and to slowly and painfully but inevitably to begin to heal and to again move forward. We are very grateful that we do not have to travel this path alone, and we are grateful for all who have attended and joined us today. The expressions of sympathy and support that have poured in from all corners of our nation and from around the world, literally from around the world, have touched us. They help us cope with the incredible tragedy and have reaffirmed our basic belief in the goodness of people. We want to thank all the members, the local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies, especially the Virginia Tech Police, the Blacksburg Police, the Virginia State Police, and all the emergency responders who rush to our aid, who continue to monitor our campus, and who have the additional horror of investigating this catastrophe. We cannot thank them enough for their bravery and for their assistance. We are extremely grateful that you here in the audience today have come to help us and to help each other. We are thankful for our students and their friends and family who have offered solace and comfort to the Government Association and the organized a candlelight vigil in place in the drill field near the War Memorial Gym of War Memorial as I've mentioned previously, but I want to emphasize, there is counseling available to members of the university community at the Macoma Center and for faculty and staff in the Brush Mountain Road. We see further testimony the community yesterday had just on friends and family of people from around the world and to begin to heal. President George W. Bush, Bush, we're very grateful for your Also, Virginia Governor Tim Kaine, Lady Ann Holton, all of the members of the U.S. Congress, Representative Bowling, Lieutenant Governor, Virginia Attorney General, Bob, members of the General Assembly, as well as the Council, and other for concern. During his public service, who has hurriedly flown in Asia, in fact, I spoke with Governor twice from Tokyo, he came back to us. He's focused on strong values and expanding his life. He served as a in a small village, utilizing the twin forces of faith and education. To you know, Governor Kane has offered to help cope with and heal. Ladies and gentlemen, please join the 70th governor of Governor Tim Kane.
president and Mrs. Brown, part of this Virginia Tech community in this room on this today. It is a very bitter day, and yet my wife Ann and I are there else in the world we would be with you at this moment. Charlie mentioned left on Sunday morning from Richmond to go on a two-week trade mission. One of the events is actually a, an event, a wonderful program of in Tokyo in the hotel for about five hours and we were all about one in the morning report the horrible track and we were stunned home we need to be with this community that that we care so much about and not being able to get home for about 10 hours and so we did what doing in the last time, watching to get news about how the campus was handling it across the world and seeing this campus and what you you doing to the world and campus what you showed to the world yet amazing thing again in all these ask what they thought about their Grief was real and very, the questions were deep and troubling. Came back to wearing shirts, wearing the Virginia Tech caps was the incredible community on this campus and, and how it was about who was to blame or what could take care of each other on this sad day to see how well you represented yourself to a worldwide community. Questions that are called forth by a significant as this. Grieving have unashamed 